Off the Pilfered Path is probably one of the most confusing quests in Dragon's Dogma 2 because it doesn't tell you what to do at all and it requires you to have played a bunch of other quests in order to make sense. And there also seems to be multiple ways to complete the quest and multiple ways to fail the quest, or at least not to complete the quest fully and get all the possible rewards. But we're going to take a look at exactly how I did it, and hopefully you can figure it out as well. Let's take a look. Now the Off the Pilthard Path quest will begin at Bak Batal when you visit the jail to the east of the city and speak with the guard there. This is the quest start location, but before getting here you need to complete a few other things first to begin with. First of all, make sure you've completed the Shadowed Prayer quest, the one where you need to find an assassin, and this will put the NPC Herman into the jail, who you can speak with later. Supposed to be. Why? Are they onto me? Ah, oh, shot it. Apprehend him at once. Now I went to speak with Hermin and bribed him as soon as I had done this quest for five thousand coins, and he mentioned the coral snakes, and there should be another person in jail who is a coral snake. But for me, there wasn't anyone here, and I guess it was supposed to be because of the next quest, which I hadn't done yet. So the other quest you need to have done is called Mercy Among Thieves, and this is found at Checkpoint Rest Town. Completing the quest will result in both Hugo and Breft being put in jail. Arrest him! Benzo? Why? A job well done. It is unfortunate that their leader escaped, but I very much doubt the coral snakes will be- We'll interrogate the lad. You see, the coral snakes are still in a- Once they are done, head to the jail and start off the pilfer path. Pain I experienced at the coronation nation was we cannot accompany you there, master, but fear not. You'll find us here when you return. Head inside the jail and you can't speak with Hugo yet, instead talk with Breft. There will be a cutscene. He mentions the coral snakes are at the ancient battlegrounds. This is the location where you go if you have done the Gift of the Bow, Trial of Archery, and Told to Rest questline. And I'm not sure if this three quests are necessary for this one to work, but I had previously done all three, so keep that in mind, you may want to do them before you start off the pilfered path. Anyway, after speaking with Breft, talk to Hugo and tell him everything that he said, and he will go silent. He said that... That can't be right. But if he did that to me, then what about all those kids? can't have killed all their parents too. Can he? No. Tell me it's all a lie, damn you! You can then go to sleep, return, and you will find out Hugo has escaped and killed Breft while doing so. Then you need to travel to the ancient battlegrounds. And that's pretty much where the quest will end. Suppose you was rotten to the core after all, like the rest of those snakes. Now the reason this quest is so difficult is because there are multiple different ways to complete it, and there's different things that you can fail. For example, you can bribe the guards to let Hugo out of his cell. If you do this before he finds out about his parents, then I'm not sure you'll be able to finish the quest fully. You can break him out yourself. Again, you won't be able to get the step at the Ancient Battlegrounds, he will simply just ask you for a job. Also some people are saying they reached the Ancient Battlegrounds after Hugo had escaped, but he was never there, and then you find out later he had died. Also, if Breath dies before you find out about the Ancient Battlegrounds, the Oracles will tell you to revive him to find out where Hugo went. There's possibly even more parts to this quest that can go wrong. I did it in a certain way and it worked out and I got all the parts to the quest, so the best thing to do here is to simply follow exactly what I did, and I'll recap all of the steps in a minute as we're still not finished going over the actual quest. So, if you did manage to get Hugo out of jail and head to the Ancient Battlegrounds, you will need to go there and kill Lanzo. Yes. Do you know who you're dealing with? Bugger off if you want to see. I'd thought it best to prevent so few of them staying in this house any further. You? This your work then? 
And after you've done that, you will meet Hugo, who has come here to kill him himself. After speaking with Hugo, he asks if it's possible for him to go on the straight and narrow, and he'll ask you for a job. And if you haven't already done so, the job that you can give him is to work at the brothel in Vernworth. But to get that to be an option, you first have to complete the side mission, Every Rose Has a Thorn, where you romance Wilhelmina. And I already have a video on that if you want to check that out before doing this quest. Lastly, once you've given him a job, you can travel back to the brothel to visit Hugo at work if you want, but the quest will already be over and there's nothing else to it. So, if you're having problems with this quest, here are all the steps I did in order to complete it. Step 1. Complete the Shadowed Prayer Quest and find the Assassin. Visit the Assassin in jail called Hermin and you can pay him 5,000 gold and he'll tell you about the coral snakes. This might be possible to do after you've started the Off the Pilfer Path quest. It's just the order I completed things in, and I have no way to check if it's possible any other way. Step three, do the Mercy Among Thieves quest, which will get Hugo and Breft in jail. You possibly have to do the three archery quests in Vernworth, starting with Gift of the Bow, and you can also do every Rose Has a Thorns quest, although you can do this later if you prefer, after Hugo is asking for a job, it's not necessary to do it before you start the actual quest. Step 4, start the quest and enter the jail and speak first with Breft and find out about Hugo's parents and the ancient battleground. Step 5, tell Hugo the information about his parents and he will go silent. You can then rest and return to the jail to find out that Hugo has escaped. Step 6, travel to the ancient battleground, kill Lanzo, and you will meet Hugo there, and you can tell him to work at the brothel. Guys, it's a complicated one, I can't reload saves to test it further, but hopefully you will be able to figure it out from the way I completed the quest. And remember as well, you can bring NPCs back to life if any of them have died. Like and subscribe for more Dragon's Dogma 2 guides, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. That is your destination. Is there aught you require? Oi there, cuz. Come to check up on me, have ya? No need. I'm faring all right. Turns out I'm not too bad at this, I think. I, I mean, I'm trying my hardest, like I said I would. But there's a lot I just don't know yet. Still, I've kept my hands clean. That much I can promise ya. Wouldn't it be right to do otherwise? Not when you were the one who found me this work. If I did slip back into my old habits, your name would suffer for it more than mine. Tell is, aught's happened up at the palace. Not sure what. Me? I'm getting along all right. Tell is, aught.